Now that Kruger had been vanquished, at least for the moment, the filmmakers wanted to find a way to market Freddy to the masses. There is something naturally heavy metal about Freddy Krueger. And uh, there was a, a sudden opportunity to use Dokken. I had just moved out from Tampa, Florida. Um, all I knew was Dokken. Doing the movie was kind of like our whole career. 50% talent, 50% luck. It was specific. It has to be called Dream Warriors and try to make it spooky and the lyrics should be about the movie. I still remember my, my version, I didn't make it. Mine was Dream Warriors, we can be heroes inside of our dreams. That's exactly Dream why Warriors, <laughs> that's how it went, yeah. The Doc and video was kind of ahead of its time. We were, we were at the early end of MTV, and uh, it was kind of the perfect opportunity to take heavy metal and horror and make one nasty thing out of it. It was cutting edge, you know, I mean, nobody had done it. We were like the first well, band to do that, you know, all that stuff and mix it with the movie. I thought it was the greatest video. It really helped our careers. And in fact, video. ours was the first video ever included on a VHS. First one. I can't sing this song anymore. It's so high. Even when I did it and I was, you know, young, I was probably 30-something in my early 30s. This was too freaking high. And maybe tonight, maybe tonight you'll be gone. Dream warriors. I have a platinum record from that Dawkins song. That is one of the few prop things that's actually up in my house because it's so funny that I could possibly have a platinum record ever with my white Jewish rhythm. I've never gone anywhere or performed anywhere, any of us, where we don't either see the EP or an album or get asked to do the song or it's just, it's, it's you know, it's part of our legacy. <laughs> Who are those guys?